Welcome back to Crafty Revolution and making liquid soap in your own kitchen. I'm bottling up some liquid soap today. There I'm pouring some liquid soap into a glass pitcher. Uh, there's a little bit of cloud in there. Don't worry, kids. It's all good. This is really moisturizing soap, and that's what that cloud is, is some jojoba oil. That happens sometimes when you make good soap. I'm taking the soap away now to the microwave. I'm going to heat it up for 60 seconds. Okay, the soap is back from the microwave, and it's uh, thinner. It's just uh, thinner because that's what happens when you heat it up. I've got some lavender essential oil, and I am weighing it at this point. I didn't weigh the soap before. I just measured it in the pitcher and, because my bottles are four, or, uh, excuse me, eight ounces. But I am weighing the lavender essential oil. Now look how it clouds up. That's what lavender does. And there's my lovely face with no makeup on it because it's summer. Forget it. No makeup. Smelling it. Obviously, it didn't smell lavender enough. Uh, I added uh, two tenths of an ounce more. Um, so for this level of soap, it turned out to be six tenths of an ounce of lavender essential oil, and I have deemed it acceptable. So now I'm going to start bottling it. Take a bottle, eight ounces, use a funnel. This is not difficult, kids. And I use the pitcher and start pouring. Uh, and I will commence to make a mess. I don't know if you can see it happening. There it goes, right down the side of the pitcher. Oh, that's lovely. I wonder where the paper towels are. Are there any paper towels? Anybody? Bueller? Paper towels? Anyone in the kitchen? Yes, thank you. I found the paper towels. This is a uh, real time, uh, real life soaping here, kids. Oh, and I love how that uh, bottle is almost out of the shot. But uh, there I go, a little uh, more control now, filling up the bottle. This is uh, really how it functions. We got a clean funnel, we got a clean pitcher, we got a clean bottle. You can see the bottles filling up. Of course, it's off to the side there because um, a videographer, I am not. I'm an amateur videographer. Maybe I can uh, fix that for you. Look at me showing the camera, <laughs> and it's not even showing it. Let me fix that for you here in a second. Here we go. Centering it up now. See? I figured it out. All right. So now this is centered up and crash <laughs> and back in the bottle. Um, I hope you enjoy my videos here at Crafty Revolution. Uh, someone asked me about how I uh, sent my liquid soap, and so this little video is the result of me answering that question. I um, sent the soap as I need it. I store it in a gallon bottle, unscented, and I sent it as I need it so that I can have practically any scents I want. Uh, you can purchase my book, Making Liquid Soap in Your Own Kitchen, at uh, www.crafte-revolution.com. Uh, send your friends over to my YouTube channel to subscribe, and we'll see what other crafty fun times we can have together. Um, thanks always for coming. I appreciate it.